Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're meeting for the very first time, my name is Busola and on this channel I talk about business, tech for business and lifestyle, just like this one. So please do consider subscribing and of course liking this video and again hit the notification bell so that you're notified anytime I post a video. So today's video is going to be very very quick and straight to the point. Ever since I started this YouTube journey of mine, I've really, really got into Chrome extensions even the more. So today I want to share with you the Chrome extensions that I'm loving right now. And straight into it, the very first Chrome extension that I want to show you is TubeBuddy. This is TubeBuddy right here. I hope you guys can see my mouse. This is it right here. So if I go, what I use it for, mostly I use it for keyword research when I'm planning out my YouTube videos. And here we are. So if I'm researching a topic, I could just keep easy easy free website builder. And guys, if you haven't seen my video on the free easy website builder that I did you should go check it out I'll put the link right here so you could go watch it so you could see that my score is not that fantastic so you could see that my score is not that high but the search volume is okay and the unweighted it shows you the weighted and the unweighted scores. So this is a this is what I use TubeBuddy for really. And another thing that I want to share about TubeBuddy is that let's see if we go into pricing for new YouTubers, for those of us that are subscriber count is still very low. If you have less than a thousand subscribers, TubeBuddy will give you 50% off on the starter tier which is exactly what I did and I think it is this is really really generous of TubeBuddy I've not seen a lot of people do something like this you know for up and coming subscribers so if you click on the toggle right there you will see that you get 50% off and your payment per month comes down to $4.50 this is what I use so because I'm still under a thousand subscribers, <laughs> so otherwise it comes up to nine dollars a month. So that's my first Chrome extension. The second Chrome extension is Keywords Everywhere. And for this one, it's just a honorable mention because I don't put I've not been able to pay for it, but I do see, for example, let's search, um, let's search Big Cartel. It will show you a whole lot of things. It will show you there's a, there should be a panel that will come up on the side that will show you some other suggestions on keywords. So here it is related keywords so i also look into this when i'm planning out my youtube videos i come in here and look in to see what else is related to big cartel again check the link right here for the video on the easy free website builder i did that on big cartel and i believe a whole lot of small businesses will benefit from having a website that is free to set up and just start from there and then you can now ex expand your empire later when you can afford to have a much more robust website. But I think you could start from the big cartel free version. So you see what people also search for. And you know, you could just scroll down, you could see all the suggestions right here. Big cartel versus GoDaddy. And these are what people are searching 
four. So that's a honorable mention because I didn't pay for it, but I still use it for that. So it's a honorable mention. Now the next one is what font. So what, what font does, because I have a, a thing for font styles that are quite unique and different. So let's go to my website, which is on Squarespace, really. So this is on Squarespace. And if you have what font, what, what font does is that it will show you if you click on it right here and then you move your cursor to the fonts that you're so curious about like oh, what kind of font is this I like this font you know so you could just put your cursor on there after you click on the what font Chrome extension and you just come down and it shows you exactly what font <laughs> it is there you have it really really easy to use very easy super duper easy and when you're done just click on exit what font and you're done that's it now my next chrome extension is asana guys i don't know me and asana is like <laughs> i always talk about asana because i use it a lot now if you click on the chrome extension right here and let's say and this is not just for YouTube planning, even though that is what I use, what for, I'm sorry, even though that is what I use Asana for, primarily for YouTube content planning. But you could also use it for in your day-to-day -day business. For example, you're browsing on the internet and you come across an idea that you like, that you think you can utilize. You could just click on it and set up a new idea. Let's say, fancy new idea for my business right so because I've set up my user here and again Asana allows up to three users on their free version I'm on the free version right now yeah and I could put a description right here how to pivot in these times, right? So I could just say, create the task. And what it does, it's immediately on my profile. See right here, task created. Added fancy new ideas to my workspace. So if you go into Asana, you will see it. It's already set up. So you could add more ideas as you're searching, you're researching for your business, you're researching for your YouTube content, everything that you find that concerns this new fancy new idea for your business or whatever it is you're searching for, it goes right here and you could just add it. So it sets it up for you real time, real time. And there you have it. So this is what I primarily use my Asana Chrome extension for. And if I had other users, I could just click on this and see the other users. But because I'm the only one um, on Asana presently on my profile. So this is what I will see right here. Now the next Chrome extension that I want to show you is Colorzilla. Now what this does is again back to my own website. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to my newsletter, there's a link down below. Do click on it to subscribe to my newsletter. And of course, you could also subscribe to my podcast. I have a new podcast on um, Red Circle, but you could find us on Spotify. No. That's not true. We're not on Spotify because Spotify is not available in Nigeria. But you could find us on Google Podcasts. You could find us on Apple Podcasts. You can find us on Stitcher. 
and I'm going to put all the links down below so please go listen up yeah and also subscribe to my newsletter right so what was I saying colorzilla so if I click on colorzilla pick color from page just pay attention to this panel right here can you see my cursor I hope you can so if I put if I place my cursor on any color that I fancy it shows up right on this panel just pay attention to that panel if I put my cursor here you could see that the color changes if I put it here so it shows you exactly what color so if you find a color on a page that you like that you will also like to use and you could not figure it out again like I said I've said it on this channel several times and I'm going to keep on saying it I'm not a graphic designer I do not have a graphic designer bone in my body whatsoever so if I find a color that I like I just click on my colorzilla chrome extension put my cursor on the color that I fancy and then I note the color right here and that's it so that's colorzilla now the next chrome extension is uber suggest uber suggest is this is actually quite new, I think, for Uber Suggest. So, if I go into, let's go back to the page I opened for Big Cartel. So, you will see Uber Suggest right here. It shows you the volume of searches in a month. It shows you cost per click. This is what advertisers are willing to pay for the words you're searching for for the description for the title that you're searching for and then this you can see right here is the estimated competition in search so the higher this value is the higher the more competitive it becomes so this is the cost per click if you wanted to pay google to be seen as an ad and this is the volume this is the number of searches in a month for this particular keyword came back from the <laughs> oh God. so there you have it guys those are my five top chrome extensions for now do share with me in the comment section what chrome extensions that you are using and let's learn from one another so till we meet again in another video my name is busola toodles